In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to create a typographic going green themed poster in Photoshop. Over here, we will open up a new document having a transparent background. First of all, let's work on the background. For that, let's pick up the paint bucket tool and select green color for the fill. For this tutorial, we will be using the color code 8DC73F. Now let's rename the layer to background 1 and apply the color on the canvas. With that done, let's create another layer and rename it Background 2. Next, let's pick up the Gradient tool and open up the Gradient Editor window. Over here, we have used 8DC73F for the right side and FFF568 for the left side. Moving back, make sure you have the Radial Gradient option selected. Now let's draw a straight line on the canvas, from the center towards the right side like so. Lastly, we will change the layer mode to Multiply. Now let's create another layer and name it Border. With that done, let's pick up the Brush tool and select the Rough Round Bristle Brush, which is available by default in Photoshop. You can find it in the Thick Heavy Brushes section if it's not appearing over here by default. With that done, let's pick up a shade of blue from the swatches over here. For this tutorial, we will be using the color code 005B7F. Now let's apply the brush on the borders of the canvas like so. Last of all, let's change the layer mode to Soft Light. Now let's create another layer and rename it Pattern 1. After that, let's pick up the brush tool and over here we will choose a Floral Swirls brush for the border. This particular brush preset can be found at DeviantArt.com. We will be using this corner brush over here. Increase the size and apply it on the bottom right side of the canvas like so. We have used the same color code for this brush as well, that is 005B7F. Next, change the layer mode to Soft Light and we are done with the background. Now let's get started with the text. We will be writing Go Green on the canvas. So to get started, let's pick up the Type tool and write capital G using Century Gothic for the font and keeping the size to 350 points. You can change the size according to your requirements. With that done, let's change the color of the font to white and rasterize the text layer. Next we will make a text box over the letter G and fill it with text. For this text layer, we will set the font type to Garamond and change the size to 11 points. Over here, we have simply written Save the Earth and copied it to fill the entire text box. Lastly, we will change the color of the text to white and rasterize the text layer. Next, let's select the layer the letter G is on and use the magic wand tool to make a selection of the letter. Now let's hide this layer and go back to the Save the Earth layer. Press Ctrl Shift I to inverse the selection and then press Delete to remove the extra text. This way, only the text falling in the shape of the letter will be left out. Next, double click on this layer to open up the blending options. Over here, select the outer glow option and choose a shade of green for the color. Over here, we have used the color code 109002. Next, let's change the blend mode to color dodge and that's it. Now we will insert the rest of the text using the same font. Since both the words go and green start with the letter G, we will only insert the rest of the letters for both words in two separate layers and arrange them like so. Finally, let's create a new layer and name it Pattern 2. With that done, we will use another brush pack to add grass and trees to the artwork. You can even use free stock photos for this as well, but for now we will be using the brush tool. For this tutorial, we will be using the Scenery Scrawl brush pack, which can be downloaded from myphotoshopbrushes.com. This brush pack provides various sketch illustrations, out of which we will be using the grass illustration and both the tree sketches over here. With that done, our poster is complete. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.